What's good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of that OSI model where we give you nothing but that application you can apply directly to your life. I'm your host, Dewan. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I got my DevNet Associate Certification and I also joined Cisco DevNet. If you did not know, I'm gonna talk more about that here in another video, but in this video, I'm gonna let you know how to leverage the DevNet Sandbox and how you can get DevNet certified. Right now, there's seven weeks left in 2020. What does that mean? That means you have seven weeks to join the DevNet class of 2020. This is the inaugural class for Cisco DevNet Associate Certifications. The first, the very first. And if you join now, there's so many different perks. You get a exclusive digital badge. You have affiliation with Cisco DevNet and get invited to pretty awesome events with people like myself and Stuart and the one and only our founder, Susie Wee. And lastly, you get some pretty awesome DevNet gear. I'll put a link in the description where you can find out more. All the resources that you need will be on this landing page. On top of that, if you're working on your DevNet associates, or if you just want to learn more about automation, there's a link to the exam topics, check it out. And there's some study material to help you get started. Ah, but wait a minute, Duane, you don't have routers and switches. You don't have access to gear. You don't have a home lab. Well, that's what this video is about. For those of you that don't have a home lab and would love to learn about automation, we're going to talk about that now. QN, the DevNet sandboxes. What are sandboxes? Well, the DevNet sandboxes are nothing but exclusive. Cisco awesomeness. What do you want to learn? Hmm, I would like to learn about Cisco DNA. Well, there's a sandbox for that. I would like to learn about ACI. Well, there's a sandbox for that. Wait a minute. I want to check out Cisco's modeling labs. There's a sandbox for that. I've been hearing a lot about these Yang data models. There's a sandbox for that. All right, so what am I talking about? I'll leave a link in the description to where you can go to developer.cisco.com forward slash site forward slash sandbox. And on this page, what you'll find is a sign up button. If you have not signed up for DevNet, I suggest you do so. And if you have, just log in. I'm gonna log in because I'm already a member. Okay, now that we're logged in, what we wanna do is get started with the sandbox. And so what this does, it takes us to another page that is a topology page. And basically what you have here is a bunch of different tabs. And what you'll notice is that some of these say reserve, some of them say always on. And what that means, let me click that. What that means, if you click this, this button here, you'll have regular, build, always on. Now, if you click always on, what this is, is access to sandboxes that are always available. And what do I mean by that? So I have an APIC here. This APIC is one of the always on sandboxes. One of the things that I used to do in my old job is utilize this sandbox to build out tenants and figure out how my script should be built in Python or even just a normal Postman request. And what do you know? I have Postman right here. If you don't know about Postman, there's a sandbox for that. <laughs> no, there is some labs on there to teach you about Postman. And if you want me to make a video about Postman, let me know. And I'll be glad to do that because Postman is always something I enjoy talking about. Now, so the first thing we need to do is send a request, a post request to log into this Cisco APIC. So we'll log in, disable SSL verification. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So as you can see, I have a status code of 200 and I'm logging into the APIC, the sandbox APIC. Now it comes back with my token. So I'm good to go. This token will now be used for the rest of my requests to this APIC. Now, let's find out how many tenants are in are created in this APIC. So if we use this this pre-made request that I already have to get all tenants, we can see that there's 28 tenants available. Now, what are some of the names of these tenants? 
There's a one called Infra, of course. That's the one that we know. But let's find one we don't know. So Heroes. This is a typical lab that you'll do on DevNet to create that Heroes tenant. And if we go, here's one, Hazy Baby. So here's Hazy Baby. And if we go over here and look for tenants, we will see that Hazy Baby is a tenant on this APIC. Boom. See, I just pulled all the tenants and we can go into all of the tenant information for Hazy Baby. Application EPG and then networking. Do not have any verse? Yep. Couple verse, bridge domains. All of this was created with either Python, Postman, Terraform, whatever you want to utilize to learn about cisco apec you can get leverage the developer sandboxes on devnet they're awesome now let's go back so if we go back to postman and i do a search and let's say i want to find lab every day there's no lab every day tenant on that apec so let's create one so if we come over here and i click my already created Requests. If you check out my JSON, here's my JSON already created. I would say, Duane made this. I wish I was at Clore, <laughs> Cisco Live Europe. Uh, maybe next year, everyone enjoy. And then my alias is Duane. We'll click send. And we get a status code of 200, count zero. And if we go back to all tenants and we do another get request. And now we have 29 total tenants. And if we do a search for lab every day, look at that. The lab every day tenant shows up. And if we go back over to the APIC, you'll see, look at that lab every day tenant. And if we go to lab every day tenant, it lets you know that I created that. Let's see what's in here. I don't have any EPGs. No bridge domain should be created. No verbs. I haven't created anything, but if I wanted to, I could create all of that either in Postman or I could leverage Python. But anyway, going back to the Sandbox Labs, we talked about the always on. If we go to the, the regular or the all, what you'll see is these reserve options. And what these reserve options allow you to do is to reserve an entire environment. So if we go to the, a the ACI reservation, you'll have a CentOS box, you'll have a Windows box, um, this VLAN switch and ACI. And basically what you'll do, you'll reserve this, then you'll have the VPN so you can access this network. And then you could do labs that are dedicated just towards this environment. So essentially with the reservation, let's, let's, let's see an example. So with the reservation, I could schedule a two hour window to be able to reserve this and I can reserve it today or a few days from now. And in my opinion, that's awesome. It's, it's one of those ways that if you can't access equipment, you don't have a home lab, you can leverage Cisco DevNet to learn pretty much anything Cisco right now. It's, it's very powerful and I recommend if you're not utilizing it, you utilize it. Reach out to me on Twitter if you have questions about this. Let me know in the comment section below if you're already using the DevNet Sandbox. What's your thoughts on it? And also, if you want me to go through a couple labs to help you understand how to set it up help you get familiar with it i will just let me know i really enjoy this i'm looking forward to making more videos on these topics i wish you all much success and i hope to see you all in the devnet class of 2020 peace